Yes, and welcome back. Uh, so I'm uh, Peter Westerbakka. I'm a local entrepreneur here in the finest Bay Area, uh, also part of the Nordics, obviously. And uh, yeah, it's great to be here, you know, celebrating the Nordic Day. And I think one thing that uh, makes uh, our part of the world uh, uh, really cool is that we are a very integrated uh, part of the world. And I think that's something that we're uh, very happy and very proud of here in Nordics. And, and you just heard about uh, what uh, we have in common from, uh, from Radar in the previous talk. And I, I thought that was like fantastic. So things that we kind of like take for granted and uh, not uh, think about that too much, but, uh, but it was really, really cool. Uh, so yeah, uh, as I mentioned, I'm an uh, entrepreneur, always been an entrepreneur uh, pretty much. I started my uh, working career in, uh, in the company that Bill and Dave started uh, in their garage in Palo Alto in California. Uh, so that was uh, Bill Hewlett, Dave Packard, and uh, they were fantastic entrepreneurs. Not only did they start uh, you know, this uh, amazing company, uh, HP, but they also started uh, what is now known as the whole like Silicon Valley. So that started in very modest uh, beginnings in a small garage uh, there in Palo Alto. The uh, reason why I thought I'll uh, bring this up is that uh, if you look at the Nordic countries, we've always been very, very good at uh, adapting and uh, adopting new, uh, uh, let's say, influences from uh, the rest of the world. And I think that is uh, definitely one of our strengths, that we are very, very open to new ideas. So if we see something that uh, you know, works, uh, then we just kind of like take that and uh, make it better. So uh, I guess uh, you could say that we're copying with, uh, with pride or, or something like that. But I think that's uh, kind of like how the world works, that you see something, you know, uh, you learn from others, take that, and then uh, of course you try to make it better. And uh, also personally been very impressed with what's going on, uh, you know, what has been going on, what is going on in, in Silicon Valley, and actually many of these uh, entrepreneurial hotspots around the world. And then, then trying to understand what uh, makes these uh, places so special, so unique. So uh, I think that there are a lot of uh, unique places. Today, of course, we're talking about uh, this unique place uh, called the Nordics and a bit about the new Nordics, so a bit of uh, uh, expansive thinking there. I think that's, uh, that's cool. But uh, also uh, there are, of course, many other uh, cool places, uh, you know, so Silicon Valley being one of them, especially for us uh, in the tech industry, that is kind of like always uh, a uh, good source for inspiration and uh, could even say that it's, it's a role model in many ways. Uh, so uh, yeah, spent a lot of time there while I was working at HP and then with many startups uh, kind of like later on. And I think that that uh, entrepreneurial spirit is, uh, you know, really uh, very, very important and that uh, kind of like takes the world uh, forward. So uh, we need more uh, entrepreneurs. And actually today uh, uh, we're doing this event from Aalto University one of the best universities here in, in Finland and in Nordics. And uh, I was actually here in 2007 giving a talk about uh, entrepreneurship and sharing my experiences from you know, Silicon Valley and uh, around. And then uh, talking to uh, 600 students here at Aalto, I then asked the students that, okay, like how many of you guys are going to start a company and you know, like go out there, do fantastic things. And uh, Actually, out of 600 students, only three uh, raised their hand to indicate that, yeah, they're going to start a company or join a startup. Uh, so not, you know, uh, very many. So we, we had to do something about that. And uh, then uh, always when we have uh, big challenges here, I mean, uh, in this case, uh, of course, it wouldn't have been fantastic if everybody just, you know, decides that, okay, let's go and work for a big corporation, you know, Nokia, Kone, uh, ABB, Wärtsilä, you know, one of the many uh, great companies that we have here. I mean, there's nothing wrong uh, going there, uh, working for a big organization or even the government. I mean, uh, absolutely uh, need to do that as well. But if everybody just wants to maintain the status quo, uh, we're not going to see a lot of new development. We're not going to see uh, new innovation. We're not going to see the world moving forward, uh, or at least not very fast. Uh, so we had to do something about this and uh, always when we have big challenges uh, here in the Nordics, there's not that many of us, so uh, it means that we have to work together. Uh, so that's also what we did uh, together with a few friends. Then uh, the following year 
we started uh, uh, slush. And uh, for those of you who haven't experienced slush, I'm not now talking about uh, that, you know, mixture of uh, snow and, and uh, water, uh, but actually slush the event. Uh, so uh, we decided to do this event to change the attitude, change the mindset here in our part of the world. And, you know, get more people excited about being entrepreneurs, going out there and, and doing things. Uh, so that's why we started this event uh, called Slush. Uh, but also uh, uh, going around the world, I've been to so many places, so many events uh, where I'm told that, hey, we're going to be the Silicon Valley of China. You know, you go to Beijing and they will tell you that. Or you go to Tokyo and you will hear that Tokyo will become the Silicon Valley of Asia. And I'm sure that many of our cities here in the Nordics want to be, you know, the Silicon Valley of uh, Nordics or, or uh, something like that. And I think that uh, that's like all good and it's a good ambition to have. But uh, with that said, I mean, the Silicon Valley is already there. It's not, uh, you know, something that we need to invent. But why don't we kind of like take the best of Silicon Valley and then make it better? And, and that's actually what we started to do with Slush and also the brand of Slush. Uh, communicates that uh, in a great way because we decided to organize the event in November and when you come to our part of the world in November I can guarantee you that it will be dark it will also be most likely be cold and if we're lucky there's gonna be slush on the ground so from the get-go from the minute you land when from the minute when you put your you know foot on the ground uh, you will realize that it's not the Silicon Valley. And actually with Slush we wanted to prove that it's not the Silicon Valley, it's actually much, much better. And much, much better because it's different. So again, taking the inspiration from places like Silicon Valley, but making it better. And now you're probably uh, asking yourself, that, okay, Peter was going to talk about like this finest Bay Area and, and all of these things and a bit of New Nordics and all that, so what is this all about? Yeah, actually, what we are doing, we are building what I call the finest Bay Area. And again, there are many Bay Areas, you know, uh, the Bay Area where we have the Silicon Valley over there in the US. There's the Greater Bay Area. You take this Guangzhou, Shenzhen, Hong Kong, Macau area over in China. Many, many Bay Areas, but there's only one finest Bay Area. And of course, here in Nordics, we believe in facts. So this finest Bay Area we take Finn out of Finland, we take Est out of Estonia, and hence we end up with the finest Bay Area. And uh, we've been very, very successful in our part of the world. I mean, many uh, success stories. One way of uh, measuring uh, the success uh, in the startup world is uh, what we call uh, the unicorn companies. So creating new companies worth more than a billion dollars. And we've created many, many. In fact, we have created more unicorns per capita here in our part of the world than anywhere else. More than Silicon Valley, more than China. I mean, we have many in uh, Sweden, we have Spotify, Klarna, a long list of success stories. Here in Finland, uh, we have, I uh, think the first one was uh, MySQL, or one of the first one uh, way back that was acquired by Sun Microsystems. So one of the Silicon Valley companies acquiring uh, MySQL for a billion. But after that, we've had uh, quite a few in the game sp uh, uh, space here in Finland, companies like uh, Robio, Supercell, Small Giant Games, uh, so many unicorn companies just in, in games. But one thing, uh, one of our uh, neighbors to the south, I would uh, actually uh, call them uh, part of this new Nordics. So our friends in Estonia, they have actually created six unicorn companies, which is amazing uh, for a nation uh, which has 1.3 uh, million people. The reason why I wanted to bring this up is that if you look at the uh, metrics, of course, absolute numbers, I mean, there's very few of us here in, in the Nordics. Uh, but if you take uh, China as an example, China has also been very successful in creating unicorns. Uh, I think that uh, there are now uh, more than 200 unicorn companies in China. But then uh, if you do the math, there's also 1.4 billion people. Uh, so it means that in China to create one unicorn company, you need 7 million Chinese people. And our friends in Estonia, they need less than 300,000 peop 300, people to create a unicorn company. So that's like super, super efficient. And this is actually what we are working on now here, you know, starting with slush to change the mindset 
around entrepreneurship, but really uh, creating a fantastic environment for success. And that is what the finest Bay Area is all about. And I was actually, 2016, I was in Tallinn, Estonia, uh, meeting with, uh, you know, uh, between uh, local entrepreneurs from Estonia, from Finland, from Sweden, from all over uh, the Nordics. And then, uh, you know, uh, for us here in, in Helsinki and Tallinn, uh, it's always like a pain, two hours by ferry. And we do uh, more than 10 million of those trips every year in non-pandemic times, I should say. Uh, and uh, we're just talking about the fact that, okay, it would be much uh, better if we could have a bit of a better connec connection here uh, between us, you know, also a physical connection. Uh, so then, uh, you know, being entrepreneurs, we just then, uh, you know, decided, that, okay, why don't we actually like build a tunnel? How difficult can it be? And uh, actually we decided to connect Helsinki and Tallinn, ma making it one uh, big, you know, Nordic metropolitan area. And uh, that's actually what we're working on right now, uh, connecting the two uh, capitals here with a 103 kilometer long tunnel, reducing the travel time from current two hours to just a bit over 20 minutes, airport to airport. And uh, reason for this, again, taking a bit of inspiration from other parts of the world, we want to create uh, the highest talent density anywhere on the planet. So, I mean, we already have a lot of talent here in Nordics, but right now working on creating gravity, attracting more people to our part of the world. And that is actually what we're doing by investing 15 billion in a bit of infrastructure, creating a bit more like uh, connectivity. But the tunnel itself uh, that we're creating now between Helsinki and Tallinn, uh, tunnels are pretty boring and actually you need to bore them. Uh, so there's, you know, like that as well. But uh, yeah. Uh, we're really uh, focusing on creating gravity. So uh, when you invest 15 billion, that creates a bit of gravity in itself. But uh, the tunnel, as I said, that's boring infrastructure. But what is really exciting is what, uh, what we are enabling on top of that. Building, you know, four station areas with space for 50,000 new people living, working, studying in that area. So working now on attracting many new uh, top international universities to our part of the world and with the universities more students, more very talented young people. So again, uh, we are of course very happy with what we have achieved here in uh, the Nordic countries so far, but we can't like uh, stop there. We have to look uh, into the future and see how we can enable even more success. And, and that is actually uh, what we are working on here uh, right now. Uh, here in, in the finest Bay Area. So making that finest Bay Area happen. And that is uh, something I think it's like uh, super, super exciting. And we have some uh, good examples of what this kind of physical connectivity can create also in uh, other parts of the Nordic uh, uh, like ecosystem. I think one source of inspiration, of course, the Öresund uh, bridge connecting, you know, Copenhagen and Malmö. Uh, fantastic effects on the local economy, the local ecosystem. Uh, so immediately when that uh, bridge was completed, we saw more than 20,000 uh, Danes move to the Swedish side because slightly uh, uh, more affordable uh, living and housing on that side. And we also saw uh, unemployment in Skåne uh, wiped out because there are lots of jobs available. Uh, on the Danish side in Copenhagen. And I think that this is a great example of what you, we can do here in the Nordic countries. There are very kind of like low barriers. It's very easy to move around. And again, in non-pandemic times, I always need to add, and hopefully we can get through this uh, very quickly. But what we expect to see now uh, with connecting Helsinki and, Tun uh, Helsinki and Tallinn with a physical connection is a lot more interaction between our two uh, capital cities. And uh, we currently have uh, more than 50,000 Estonians living on the Finnish side of the border, uh, less than 5,000 Finns living on the Estonian side. But once we complete uh, the tunnel construction, we expect tens of thousands of people currently living on the Finnish side to live in Tallinn. And then also we expect uh, a lot more uh, people living in Tallinn work on uh, the Finnish side. And I think that this is again a great example of what we can do here in the Nordic countries uh, because of our, you know, like uh, 
common history, background, uh, culture, everything that uh, we can make these kind of things happen uh, very, very rapidly. But anyway, so uh, this is an example of the kind of mega projects we're doing here in our, par our part of the world right now. And I think that this is very much part of kind of like this Nordic approach. Uh, it's all about getting stuff done. And that's what uh, I think Nordic people are, are known for. So uh, super happy to be here today to talk about you know, the finest Bay Area, an important part of uh, the Nordic community. And also looking at how we can make this kind of like new Nordics happen. So uh, I think that there's a lot of uh, exciting uh, opportunities ahead for uh, all of us. And I think that we're also super happy to see so many people being interested in being part of the Nordic family. So uh, looking forward to welcoming even more people and more nations to the uh, Nordic family. Thank you very much. And it was fantastic to be here uh, today.